My name is Christopher Dunlap, and I'm here to tell you about the Calgary Environmental Education Tours, which aims to deepen the understanding on practical environmental issues around us in Calgary, and connects a community of interested people who are looking to learn more. We are seeking $1,000 federal dollars and $900 Calgary dollars through the Take Action Grant in order to offset our upfront costs to conduct these tours. The idea is this. We will organize four environmental tours, which will all happen by the end of 2012. The first planned tour will be a trip to the City of Calgary multi-recycling facility with a post-tour discussion and presentation by a city guide, followed by a social and post-tour discussion with a meal. The second will be a visit to a local farm where participants will have the opportunity to visit and learn about where food comes from with a presentation and a potluck. The third will be a trip to a local solar community preceded by a speech with a local solar expert and a dinner. And the last trip will be a trip to the city water treatment plant, ending with a presentation from a local water group. The idea for this project came from a side event we held with the environment crew of the Calgary Folk Music Festival, which I'm a part of. The Magical Landfill Mystery Tour, as it was came to be known, was organized by environment crew members Matt Dorma, Leo Rothschild, and myself. These tours brought volunteers, community members, such as Momentum employees, green team members from the Slut Island Music Festival, partners from the new social space Epic YYC, and others on a bus tour of the East Calgary Landfill, which ended with a discussion and a potluck. The enthusiastic responses and discussions which came forth from those who attended got us thinking, we really need to do more of these. The funding which we are seeking will be used to offset the off-front costs, which include expenses for bus rental, carbon offsets for the bus, honorariums for speakers, and costs for food. On each tour, it is planned that the 40 participants will contribute $5 to cover some of the costs. We will accept Canadian or Calgary dollars for these tours. The audience will largely be made up of volunteers from all teams on the Calgary Folk Fest, since this is a relatively easy audience to access, and because these volunteers come from diverse backgrounds in the community. We also plan to promote the events to other target audiences through our own personal networks, such as local social entrepreneurs, environmental organizations, and Calgary festivals, so they can expand on their environmental programs. The goal of this project is to highlight environmental justice issues, such as the importance of organic pesticide-free farming and slow food, how water is provided to people, such as where does water come from, not just from the tap, the significance of alternative energy sources, as well as why it's important to reduce our carbon footprints, these tours will empower the attendees with knowledge on how they can be more socially sustainable in Calgary. In addition to empowering the attendees to do more, it is our hope that the presenters will be further enabled to network with community members to spread their important messages. We encourage you to vote to support these tours because they will be a fantastic opportunity for Calgarians to connect, learn and empower them to act in a more environmentally aware way. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this project goes forward, we hope that the Arusha staff will have the opportunity to join us on these tours.